Welcome again to Quick Baritone Sax Tips, and this is lesson two with my lovely assistant and wife, Jenny. Say hi, Jenny. Hello, everyone. So in today's episode, we're going to introduce a couple of new things. And reminder, uh, this is only the second week that Jenny's been playing uh, the baritone sax. So we're going to focus in on adult learners. So one of the things that we learned this week is we were talking about rhythm and we're talking about um, how to understand rhythm was, um, you know, it's a little confusing, especially for somebody who has never played music before. So you're definitely going to want to go and buy a metronome. Uh, here is one of my old trusty ones. This is a Dr. B from way back. Um, and the reason why I like this one is it allows you to count the beats. So if we turn it on here, you can hear that beat one is louder than the other ones, a different pitch. So one of the songs that we are working on for this week is uh, a good old favorite uh, called Hot Cross Buns. So I'm going to have Jenny uh, play a little bit here. Do you want to play with the metronome or without? With it. Okay. One, two, ready, go. <laughs> So she did a couple of things that were really great. So uh, first of all, um, even though she's not quite to the point where she can support the um, air for the instrument, um, she's still keeping the rhythm going. So that's very important to keep that rhythm going and still keep with the rhythm, even though it has some spaces. So what are some things that you learned between last week and this week? <laughs> well, I start to learn counting the beats and mm -hmm. I make sure there is some, I mean, like space between the different notes and then I try to learn what means G, you know, B, A, G, different notes, just a little bit. <laughs> so, so what was the most confusing thing? Confusing is I, you know, I couldn't follow up with a, with a pace and I okay. had to get more. Happy. So actually understanding how like rhythm works and how to count the rhythm. Right. That was probably the, the yeah. hardest part. And then also the other thing that we worked on was the tongue. So starting to tongue. So what are some things that were hard for that or what are some things that are hard? Well, I think the first thing is the Right, I couldn't get enough air come to the, mm -hmm. the instrument. Mm -hmm. And also, you know, I'm not sure how to make sure I can play well from this mouth. Well, I have to say you're doing very good considering you've never played any instrument before or any music and you're starting out with baritone sax, which would probably wouldn't be the, the ideal choice for a beginner. Most folks start on alto, but that's what we've got around here. So um, let's try one more time. Do you want to try with the metronome or not? Maybe without. Without? Okay. okay. So you want me to count for you? Sure. All right. One, two, three, go. <laughs> Some of the key takeaways for when you're starting out, get a metronome, um, learn with the beat. One thing that we did that really helped is um, we did this exercise. So Jenny, will you count the one, two, three, four? 
I'll put the metronome on and then I'll I'll play some. Okay. All right. So let me put that down. So one, two, three, four. One. <laughs> sing so it's important to be able to play what you sing sing what you play so that's one of the things that we also worked on which was you know singing it and when we're singing it we're singing the notes so b a g and then singing that with the metronome and then counting it with the metronome that way we're able to get a bunch of different um, inputs while we're starting. So great job and thank you so much. Thank you. High five. Yeah. <laughs>